Hello, fellas. Thanks for tuning in with me again. I'd like to give a special thanks to all my loyal followers. I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. I do apologize for not making as many videos. As you know, life is crazy. Life gets busy. So doing this is just a hobby for me, and it's just uh, to share with you guys, to share my passion for watches. This is uh, one of my latest additions to my collection and you see it says Omega right now you guys can just guess what's in there you know I'm super excited I buy most of my watches used because that's where the value is at all right let's get right into it now, obviously uh, this watch is used so this is not going to be a brand new unboxing video but it is hey it's brand new to me so I'm super excited this is my grill watch as a kid I used to watch this guy and I, I wanted to be James Bond I really did absolutely I thought I was 007 and I thought I would be until I realized you know it was it was Hollywood uh, there's that beautiful Omega emblem there nice embossed just, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and take out the, uh, what we're gonna do now is just take out the, and I do apologize for, again, fellas, for the movie cam, for uh, the shaky camera here. Um, I'm still new to this, I don't do it enough. If I did it enough, I'd be better at it. But hopefully y'all can still enjoy the video. There's the card here. Well, I've conveniently covered up the, Seal number. We don't want to put that all over the web. You also get an Omega instruction instruction booklet, and I have yet to fully look through it. But look like it looks like it comes in different languages and stuff. Yeah, there it is right there. It comes in different languages. I'm sure you guys are not like super interested in the packaging. You guys want to see the watch, so let's get right to it. I'm gonna make this video as short and as informative as I can for you guys. Okay, here we go. Can you guess which James Bond watch this is? The iconic Omega Seamaster 300. Some refer to it as the SMP. And you can see it still has the retail tag. Obviously, I didn't pay this much, much for it, but the savings, that's where the savings come in for buying a used timepiece. That's where the savings are. You guys have to realize, I mean, I know some of you are, all are, um, you know, purists to where you have to have that new timepiece on your wrist. But if you want to save a lot of coin, if you want to save a lot of paper, a lot of bread, whatever you call it, Going pre-owned is the way to do it. So let's get it out of here. As a kid, I wanted to be James Bond. I really did. And I thought this watch would be just really cool to have. It, were, it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of uh, when Pierce Bronson took over for Roger Moore as James Bond. Beautifully embossed. This does have the ceramic bezel on it. I did have a Omega Seamaster that had the, the old version, the original one that had the metal be bezel on it, the aluminum bezel. It started to fade and scratch and uh, it, it just didn't, it looked, it had a very nice vintage look to it. But as you guys know, I'm not into vintage pieces. I like uh, pieces that have, um, you know, that are more um, modern. I'm not so much into the vintage pieces. I'm having my morning coffee right now, even though it's in the afternoon. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can get her going. There she goes. All right, let's get it off of here. And I'll give you guys a nice close-up shot here. It has the helium valve right here. With the HE symbol. 
as it is on, on the chemistry table. It's the exact same. I don't know if my camera was in. Mean, I'm using an iPhone, guys. I know. I'm so in the Stone Age. I don't have a, a GoPro or anything like that. Um, look at the AR on that. The crystal just disappears. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, the iconic seahorse. Oh, wow. That's great. That is beautiful. I'll let you guys listen to that bezel click. As you all know, I'm very much so into the click of the bezel, the bezel turn. And if I'm not mistaken, and, and you guys can chime up if I am incorrect, this particular model is the... Uh, coaxial and it does have the 2500 caliber movement in there and like i say you uh you wis is you know you watch enthusiasts if you if i'm incorrect please correct me just put that down below in the comment section and let me know that i am wrong so that way you can uh, inform me so i can have the proper information on the watch that i'm wearing let's just go ahead and get her set for the proper date We're going to set the time right now. Go ahead and give her a good wine here. And when I bought the watch, um, the uh, jeweler was nice enough. Obviously, he was a mega dealer. He was nice enough to give me these, look at that, these Omega gloves. So you guys don't, don't have to look at my cruddy fingers. You know, I don't, I'm not into getting manicures or anything like that. Um, so I thought these gloves would be a nice, nice touch. So that way um, you don't have to look at my uh, cruddy nails. So um, there you go. So it was nice of them. Shout out to uh, Manfredi Jewelers. You guys are great. I mean, I... The, the cost of this was phenomenal. You guys saw the retail. Okay, you saw the retail. I'm all into savings. The jeweler was actually wearing this watch. The salesperson. They wore it for uh, maybe a, maybe six months, and you know, just as a showpiece, as a sales piece to get people interested. I got this watch for half the cost. I mean, you cannot you cannot. Less than half the cost, probably about 60 percent savings or so, fifty five percent, sixty percent. So there you go, guys. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you a wrist shot. So why don't we just do this? And let's get back into the picture. So if you guys want to just take a look. Oh, she's a beaut. Look how that AR disappears there. Okay, this video is getting extremely long. I can be long winded. I love, especially when talking about watches, guys. That's my thing. Um, this is a dive watch. It's uh, a chronometer certified to. Uh, I want to say it's 1,000 1, feet. So you can take this diving really deep. I'm into diving, I'm into uh, snorkeling, these, these types of things. So this is. This is definitely a, a must have. If I say you must have any watch in your collection, if you are a watch enthusiast, you must have an Omega Seamaster. This is an iconic watch. You must have this. I would say the other James Bond watch, which is a Submariner. Um, another nice timepiece to have. It's just my personal preference. Have one Panerai. So, you know, have you one Panerai, one Omega, and one Rolex? I think to me, that is the perfect watch collection absolutely a uh, perfect watch collection okay I'm gonna go ahead and take off the watch I have now there's a quick shot the Rolex up I'll do a, a video on that another day so let's get that out of the way sorry Rolex you're not the 
star of this video. Here is the star. And I tell you, getting this watch was like a dream come true for me. It really was. There we go. Fits nicely on the wrist, sits very well, very comfortable. And also, if I didn't mention, this nice, nice cloth here came with it. There's an Omega symbol right there on the cloth. And that came with the, uh, that came with the gloves that they gave me. Okay, so I'll give you guys another shot on the wrist nicely polished it has polished and brushed finish on this watch the AR coating is double sided on the crystal it's a sapphire crystal I mean just look how that disappears in the light it just disappears it doesn't even look like there's a crystal there so I, I love that if anything you know you guys been watching my videos you know that I love loom and I love AR those are my two favorite things about luxury watches that you just don't find on your standard everyday uh, watch that's out there. So when you pay a little bit higher price, as with anything in life, you get what you pay for. I'm gonna wrap this video up. This actually went a lot longer than I anticipated, but I hope I've given you guys a reason to go out and buy this watch. I'm going to get all boxed up here. And I'll give you one last final shot. Thanks again for rocking with me. I appreciate you guys. If there's any other watches that you want to see, let me know. I do have several other pieces that I have not reviewed. So, as always, you guys stay safe and have a great day.